Well, what a game that was. Gawada Sharks swam their way to, to victory tonight. What a turnaround that was for them after being put to bat first by the Gujranwala Giants. Let's take a look at the match summary and recap how that went. Yeah, so the Gawada Sharks managing 131. Nothing too big there on the board, but a great performance. Uh, by the all-rounder Arafat Minhas. We will come to that later. Gujranwala Giants in return just could not build the innings. And of course, uh, the Gawada Sharks easily, easily winning that match by 44 runs. I'm going to Sana Meer and Dominic Cork here. Sana, uh, in the build-up of the show, you know, we spoke, you spoke about uh, supporting the underdogs tonight. And they could not, uh, you know, win this one. Haven't won a single match so far, so doesn't look good for them. Doesn't look good for them, and they are to be blamed. Unfortunately, I think they did really well with the ball and the field, but the problem was with the batting and the batting order. I think uh, we kept seeing from ball one they, in the power play they played a lot of dot deliveries, and their best batter, Shivon Daniel, who batted really well in the last match at number three. He scored 81. He ran out of partners. He was demoted to number four. So that I didn't understand at all. When you're chasing 131, you should send your best batters up. Um, and right. uh, I think that's where they got wrong. Dom, your prediction came spectacularly close. You were brilliant today. <laughs> you doubt me? No, I don't now. No, I just thought you doubt. No, no. I, I, I just see a settled side. I see a side that are... Uh, you know, they know their plans. I think, you, you, you know, you're talking to the uh, captain at the end there, Shamil is saying, he said that, you know, a win is a win. There's still things we can do. Uh, don't underplay Viv Richards. I know, obviously, Mushtaq Ahmed is coach, but to have Viv Richards jumping up and down and that inspiration, that doesn't just help the team go and win. It helps it when they're in tough situations as well. And what, what I like is uh, just the way that they went about, you know, taking, uh, you know, getting on with, with, with the wickets early on. And, and I just see that they've got plans. And the plans work because they're putting opposition batters under pressure. And then once the spinners come in, the trio of Saad Masood, Momin Kamar, and Arafat Minas. You know, if you look at what they've done, there's eight wickets for 50, 56 runs, 57 runs. Eight wickets for 57 runs. That just wipes away the opposition. And it's just simply too good. Um, and that's why, I'm, I, and it's easy now after this win to say that, I think these could be one of the winners. I, I, I think they're definitely going to make the final, uh, and it wouldn't surprise me if they went on to become the first um, Pakistan Junior League winners. Absolutely, I can't agree more uh, because of three different facts. Number one, Sir Vivian Richards. I think I agree that he instilled that self-belief in the team. They, have, they are the only team who has defended 130 who have won two games after losing the toss, who have chased 170 plus, then they're wrist spinners. Um, number one is Sir Vivian, wrist spinners. I think their wrist spinners are absolutely phenomenal. And then they've got really good all-rounders. So as a unit, they are a very gel team. So these right. three things, if you have in a team, I think it's very difficult to beat a team like that. Now, Arafat Minhas, that one man who did all the damage for the Giants uh, tonight, uh, Sana, he spoke about being, you know, <gasps> polishing himself as an all-rounder and, of course, representing Pakistan. <gasps> How special was he tonight? I think his, uh, his bowling was special, his batting was special, and so was his interview. Uh, it's really good to see such a young player in Pakistan having big dreams and following up on on those teams, just not talking about it, but showing it with action. In three matches for the uh, Gawada Sharks, he has been the best all-rounder in all three games. That speaks volumes for him. And what speaks volumes about this is what I say at the top. Just look at them. They're a confident side. They know how to win games. Look, I think with six points, that they're, they're going to be definitely playing in the finals. We know that. And they're going to be, in, sorry, in the, in the playoffs. And you'd expect them to be playing one versus two to go straight through to the final. Look, the bottom two have no points. Mathematically, they're still in this competition, but they'll need a lot of things to go their way to actually try and get them to four points. Remember, they've both got two games left and a lot of things that have to go their way. So the top four at the moment are quite comfortable. But remember, the top two have a chance, two chances to go straight through to the final. So do not stop watching this Pakistan Junior League. 
keep watching because there's so much more excitement to come and there's so much many games as well. And hopefully more of Dom's predictions coming well, our way. Well, I'm not sure I always get them right, but yeah, I, I did say I was on commentary that I thought it would finish about the 16th over. But, you yeah. know, I don't want to say I was spot on and the Sharks would win. But anyway, I'll, I'll get it wrong tomorrow. Sana, you made a good point about Sir Viv, you know, his importance on the in the side. Now, Shweb Malik, someone like him, you know, how must he be feeling right now not able to, you know, mm. register a win with the Giants? Yeah, I think it's a big uh, issue there because especially with Shoaib Malik there, with Ijaz Ahmed there, you would expect that the think tank would be working with the batting orders more. So hopefully they can come up with a better um, batting order. I think otherwise the team looked really good. Uh, Gujranwala Giants looked good today in the field. They were better with the ball as well. But with the batting order and the uh, the number of uh, which batter to go when, I think that's where they can improve. I'm only looking over my shoulder because I can see him bowling Shoaib Malik. So he's probably saying, look, this is how we bowl. Come on, we've got to do this. But obviously he can't play. What I'm looking forward to is tomorrow's game. I think he's going to be a cracker. A cracker indeed. We're looking forward to this next clash at the Pakistan Junior League between Mardan Warriors and Hyderabad Hunters being played tomorrow. Same ground and uh, this one will be a thriller for sure. Well, we did have a great uh, game uh, today as well after that rained out match yesterday. Thank you. Sana and Thank Dom you, for joining me again and ha helping me unpack all this uh, action. That's all from all of us here. Good night. Thank you for joining us and come back tomorrow again for more action at the Pakistan Junior League. Till then, it's a goodbye.